beauty shop break in. A local business says it is out of at least 15 grand after thieves stole right off their shelves. We've got a lot to get to tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Hunter Sauer and I'm Tony Lopez. It's an ugly break in at an art and beauty store. All of it was filmed, but still the evidence may not be a slam dunk for arrest. CBS 13's Madison Keevy getting answers tonight on this latest small business gut punch. Madison. Hunter, this is something we've seen before. Take a look here. A window, floor to ceiling, boarded up with wood. That's not normal. Right next to it, a glass door has a shattered bottom where a hammer tried to break it through. The result is caught on camera. Two thieves trying to get inside, and yet another small business is out thousands of dollars. It just feels like kind of a, uh, like somebody just punched you in the gut. They did it with a hammer. Two thieves grabbed what they could from the shelves and jewelry case at Total Beauty Experience in Arden. They probably stole anywhere between fifteen dollars to $20,000 worth of inventory. The two-person team split up. Security cameras rolled as one ran down an aisle stocked with expensive hair tools. So these people primarily focused on the styling tools, which were the curling irons, flat irons, and blow dryers. And then they also were able to get some of our high-end hair care products. There was a lot of evidence collected there. I mean, there's fingerprints, there's, you know, all kinds of other things that are there. On the shelves emptied by thieves, a warning ignored. Is all this evidence left behind and filmed enough to make quick arrests. But all that collected evidence is only as good as the information in that database. So if we aren't taking people to jail anymore, we don't have the opportunity to collect these fingerprints. This happened when the store was closed. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office spokesperson told me, so it's a burglary that happened to be at a retail store, which doesn't make it retail theft, it makes it a felony. You know, we're trying to survive like everyone else. Just to, again, put out how brazen this was, really, the lights that are coming down on me are on 24-7. And just alone doing this report, there's about six cameras that are filming me standing here right now that I can see from outside the store, something that authorities believe those two thieves saw and went in anyway. The store's owner said she hopes if anyone takes anything from this, it's maybe before shopping at the big box store or online to find a local business to support because even without the thousands of dollars that were just carried out of the store, she says it's still so hard to compete with some of those bigger companies as a small business owner.